What's up guys? I am Moloch and this is part three of my Thorax Thorak Iron Brow Iron Brow's Expedition Dwarfen Campaign playing as, funnily enough, Thorak Iron Brow. But we're not starting with him today, we're starting with Kazador Dragon Slayer because he's got a hell of a fight against a lot of black orcs to deal with. Oh, and some Doom Diver catapults. Shit's gotten real, but we've got a garrison to help us. We didn't get the chance to ambush, but that's okay. That actually suits us in a way, because these guys should be coming in at our backs. Let's get on with the fight. Yeah, it's saying casualties low, and I have a feeling that this is going to mostly take the garrison's troops, because they're most of the, um, the melee infantry, but I don't want to take the risk, because Grimgore was raiding in this area recently. He's probably going to have a full stack. We need to deal with that shit, so let's fight this manually. Plus, the other matter, of course, is that we've got a hell of a lot of garrison troops here now. Yeah, okay, so we're going to put these here. Yeah, that's pretty close. They'll be able to get there in time. So what we're going to do here for our checkerboard is this is going to be our front line. Uh, you know, our supplementary line, if you know what I mean. Not our out-and-out -out front line, but our first firing line. They're going to go there. They're going to come a little bit further back. And then these guys with the great weapons are going to go forward. These guys are going to go here and here as flank guards. He's going to go here, and he's going to go here. We're basically protecting the Thunderers and the other Quarrelers. There we go. Okay, that thing needs to go there. Lots of melee infantry coming in. Oops. No, 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 no. Didn't mean to move him. Or him. I'm so not used to having melee infantry in there that I just, as soon as I saw melee infantry, it's like, well, obviously they're not ours. Oops. Big oops. Like, just keep moving. Do we have any more coming in? Uh, okay, so they go to there and there. Is this what they got, really? I thought this garrison was going to be better than this. This is going to be the first line. We're going to put the no, go to there. Nothing can stop us. These to there. Yeah, get the iron breakers back. And as soon as we get a chance to aim at black orcs, we need to change our firing pattern. They're aiming at our actual units, the fucking pricks, and I've got nothing fast to go and get them with. I'll try and send some miners over there, because they'll probably ignore them. They're low threat. Right, go for these. Miners. 
Oh, actually, send those round there. And you block them. Nah, they're chasing us down. God damn it. Okay, we're just going to have to fight for the army loss penalty then. You aim for those Black Hawks. And you. Right, you go for there, there, there. And do I have the range? Just about. Let's go for there. Okay, Black Hawks are gone. Or well, those ones were anyway, that unit of them. Right, aim for those night gobbos. Okay, simple enough. Scrappy like it always is when you're arranging your reinforcements in a hurry, but we got through it. Definitely better than the auto-resolve would have been. That'll do. Okay, go for the growth there because we need that. Damn, we're not even going to get this place up in time, are we? So they've hit the uh, the right of Sotek, so there's attrition heading through their territory. That's okay, we're heading down to Temple of Skulls now. Going to have to deal with these. That's more than was necessary there, I would say. Okay. Uh, go for that. Cool, okay. Now I probably could justify going to tier 3 on the garrison here, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how it looks here. It's just the public order in this area is so fucking bad. And we're not going to get this up in time, so we're just going to have to deal with that. Can I drop the growth, actually? Let's go for... Barely going to make any difference. Not even worth it, actually. We'll keep the growth. Not worth it. I swear we didn't get grudge throwers in that battle. Huh. Well, whatever. Just having a look at what they actually get there. 
Oh, yeah, it's because Karak Eight Peaks has such a bloody big garrison, isn't that? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. One unit of grudge throwers in the garrison. No unit of grudge throwers showing. Well, that sucks rather a lot. Okay, they've glitched that out as well. Whatever. No, I will not shame my clan. Wonder where Grimgore is then, because he was raiding in this. Okay, Sven Drenger can come in to help defend Karagorod. We won't have the Carnosaur, unfortunately, because I can't get that back in time, but still, it's okay. There he is. There's your boy Grimgore, and he's attacking us in a place that really, really, really suits us. Pyrrhic victory. How Pyrrhic is it? So we lose some stuff. Which we don't need to. This guy's not immortal. And none of this needs to get hurt, quite frankly. The the reinforcements should be coming in at our back. Unless we show up here where the trees are. I don't really see a problem here. Yeah, let's fight it. Obviously, Grimgore's a problem. But he's bringing biggins, not Blackhawks. This is very similar, actually. The distance from us... For the reinforcements is very, very similar, so they should get in a good position very quickly. We're going to do the same formation here. This is going to be my true line, my true first firing line. With the great weapons coming forward eventually. There we go. them there. Bane, Cazador. He can come forward. Right. Miners of the sacrificial lambs, just go up there, show them where you are, get yourselves killed. I don't care. I am indifferent to the fate of the miners. I'm like Margaret Thatcher, basically. Get them to there. Not especially pleased with the gunnery range there, but it's fine. It'll do okay. I'll bring these to here. These to here. He can come to there. Oh, we got a spare unit. Uh, you come to there. Yeah, big uns aren't to be underestimated, but it's much better to be facing them than Black Orcs, especially when Grimgore's leading them. And now that I can see the line properly, you go like this. Get the... yeah, get them to there. Is a 
Oh, fucking Grimgore, look at him go. Actually, no, you stay back. Don't want to be pulling them out of position. Get them back. All of you, aim for Grimgore. All gunners. There we go, we won. We won it. How the fuck has he made it? That's ridiculous. Get back, Cazador. It's fine, we'll get him in the follow-up. That might be the last major stack he's got. Alright. Yeah, nothing major there. Get rid of that. Still can't believe Grimgore survived that. That's laughable. Kak Heen is now at war with um, Grimgore's Art Boys. Fine. Skaven Rebels at the Golden Tower. Don't care. We'll deal with them later. Thorek Ironbrow. Kazook. So it's war. Good. I'm going to say just occupy that. If you want something done right. Um, don't especially need armaments raising there, so get rid of that. And we'll get the money building in there. For the wisdom. This should be an auto. Yep. Shoulder <laughs> Grimgore has confederated the bloody hands, because of course he has. He was about to lose. You can't have him about to lose. Right 
What's this garrison like? Decisive defeat. It's it's good. Is what it's like. Oh dear. Okay. We're gonna have to gamble it because we need to get round there. We're not close enough to reinforce, so if they start attacking, we're in trouble. We do need to wipe them out as soon as possible. That is fine. That is fine. We will start building the walls up there now to get the extra garrison. We've done the main thing against Krokgar now. This is now looking really good for us. Don't especially need that one. Let's get the replenishment. Um, no. Yeah, we'll get that. Get the Thane. We'll get him some hit points. Kazador very nearly has lightning strikes, so that's good. So his just realized Grimgore's War must have had the crap kicked out of it by the enemy. Lightning strike, okay. That's excellent. He can now lightning strike. We're in a strong position. Hi. Welcome, King. Arm of the High Kings. No. No way. Hmm. Oh, we got a minus 10 because of that dilemma. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, yeah, this is part of why our finance is looking better now. It's taken a long time to build back up. Any more deals we can do for trade? Kemri, trade with us. Okay. How are we looking here? Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Gonna have a rebellion here again. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have a rebellion here next turn. Or over the end turn. Vampire rebels this time. That is less you concerning to me. Work. I would quite like a non-aggression pact with him. Do you know we can hold off on fighting her for a while? Do you not know? No, no we, we've got the trade with her. The main thing is she's giving us money. We don't really need anything else out of her. I don't want to recruit a lord in here. But it's a matter of how many monsters are these vamps going to bring? But if it's just this kind of shit, it's no problem, because we'll shoot the crap out of them with the basic garrison there. Always our best. Bring the rack. I'm listening. Gonna take that out and then we can fight them back from here. The runes are struck. Growth would be nice, but I want money. And now we should, hopefully, just be able to auto this. Because we got a full size. Close! Close!
That's fine. The garrison took the brunt of it. Yeah. Now, down here, we don't want to declare war on another faction right now. Let's get the replenishment in here. Because his replenishment is really, really bad. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to spend on this just to get the public order under control. Not worried about any of this. We're going to have a rebellion here. It's going to be Greenskins, I believe. Possibly Skaven. Vamps? Okay. Same situation as up here, then. As long as they don't get big monsters, I would feel pretty confident there. We're going to get Serpent Coast next turn, naturally. And from there, we'll just work our way back up towards the north and work our way through, smash them up. Yada yada, recapture all of this. He's probably going to confederate Teotica just to piss me off and drag it out for longer. But, you know, we're in control here. We've got the corner, more or less. Yeah, it's like, hit the cursed jungle, I don't care. Casting the runes is the... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I really want to start getting good terms with Karaz Akarak now. Decisive victory, low casualties. That's the risk that I was talking about there. The risk to heroes in a, in a um, range-based army because they're the only melee. Got to be careful with that stuff. We are just going to occupy because we want to move on from here fast. And we got money from there. Our financial situation now looks sweet. How's this looking? Like trash. That's fine. Still haven't seen Gotrick and Felix at any point. But hey ho. Ready. By the bearer's will. Public order is now fine there and there. Here, yeah, not so much. We could start building up the garrison here as well, actually. Just to get those thunderers in, the extra thunderers. Hmm, it's expensive. But our financial situation's looking pretty solid, so I'm going to do that because... We're in a very good position as far as defending these, this sort of trio of big settlements here. Black Crag, Karakate Peaks and Karakazul. We're in a good position for defending those, so we're going to take full advantage. I can recruit from Karakate Peaks. So I am going to get rid of... I'll get rid of that one. No, do you know Because that gives me Grudge Throwers and Quarrelers. I could build a whole... Uh, grudge Throwers and Thunderers. I could build a whole army out of that. We'll get rid of this one. And we're going to put a public order building here so that we can get this under control. We got all of our... We want that. Inquiring mind, we definitely don't want to waste any points on. And now our defensive position in this area has become Temple of Skulls. Rune Lord. We 
push onward. All solid. Money's okay. We're only running a 200 a turn deficit now. Summon me if you dare. Karazakarak are nearby. We can't attack here yet. But we're going to go to there. Going to encamp stats, get a little bit of extra replenishment. That's fine. I mean, that's not awful, but... Nah. Public order. Yeah, okay, we're heading up to this section now. Get out of it. That's where we get extra growth, so we'll just click that and we'll go through that for 12 turns. It just looks like vamp trash. Yeah, next turn we'll be able to put a... Um, a public order building in there just to get up to oh there's what's this do? Yeah. Uh, not that useful. We got that one. We can't forge any of the others yet. Okay, end the turn. Whipping through them a bit at this rate. New mass have been destroyed by Camry. I have a feeling we'll be able to auto this. Ah, I'm glad I didn't accidentally hit that there. Definitely take the growth. Fuck the public order. No. Decisive victory. Yeah, that's why I built those walls, guys. The control it gives you and the ability to move around, so important. And we'll do the same to these guys next turn. They're just giving us loot, basically. Then this one, we will go up to about here. God damn it. I wonder why it was so far. They're in bloody forced march. Get back to there. Sake. He probably doesn't have a good army, to be fair. Completely forgot he was in Force March there. We will build this up. Do you know what? We're going to win it on the Auto Resolve. So yeah, we'll do that this turn. And this one, we will get Public Order Building in. And we're getting there. We are getting there. For the wisdom. That one was very easy. Amory in positive income. Finally! Finally! The first time since we uh, confederated Karakazul. We're in um, positive financial position. Quarrelers, Thunderer. Get that. You can have something. Ah, extra hit points. Good stuff. Good, that's holding up fine, and it's only a tier 2 garrison, but that's okay. I think we should be heading for Crookback Mountain. How much does... So Grimgore's back up to 8 because he confederated the Bloody Hands. But the Bloody Hands, I don't predict, are going to be a huge problem. Karazakarak will probably beat the shit out of them. So I'm not overly worried about them. To war! Welcome, friends of the Dowie. Nigh! Doubtful. Thorgrim, what's the matter with you, you asshole? Hmm. Okay.
obviously there'll be a rebellion at Karakazul. Nope. Got to wipe them out while we got the chance. They only have one settlement left. And it's going to be really low tier. They'll have, been, they'll have gotten that at like tier 3 tops. No. Because I'm actually prepared to betray them and break the trade agreement. Because the trade agreement's not making me that much money and it won't hurt our reliability that much. Not for that long, anyway. So we're on 6787. See what we get out of this, because this should be an auto. Close victory, really? Oh, there they are. Where are Gotrick and Felix? Um, how soon until we get a rebellion here? Right, okay. Time for a reckoning. I want to get him to there. Aye. We're going to go for Crookback Mountain because that's value. But, well, it's only tier 3 at the moment, but still. Yes! Welcome. Friends of the Dowie, never... We want to start setting up the Confederation with them as soon as possible. We got away with it a bit down here. Being in Forced March didn't hurt us that much. Well, it didn't hurt us at all. They didn't attack us. If they'd have attacked us, it would have really hurt us. Come on! Yeah, don't really need to be spending as much. I mean, that's 5,000 there for that. And it's not like that is a bad garrison. So we'll leave that as is. Then we'll get the Cursed Jungle, and then we'll head through Teotica. Hopefully they'll have built that up a bit. And we can have it back at their expense. Let's have a look. Public order here is still absolutely shocking, even with this. This might... It's very nearly worth doing that with. Let's... Let us begin. Get into there. Jaeger. We'll make a slayer out of Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. What should I put this? An adventure filled nightmare or a nightmare. Send me a champion out of the wilds. We'll just rush them to there. And then what we'll do is we'll swap them into Cazador's army. Where we get the chance just to get those reduced. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, reduced supply lines. That's what I was looking for. God almighty. I swear I'm going senile. Our money is now actually looking quite good. Time for a reckoning. But we want to get rid of... Uh, that's part of why it's looking so good. It's given us 366 a turn. But, yeah, we'll get rid of it. We want the walls there. And then I feel like I should come down south and start fighting these guys. So Skull Crag, they have three settlements. I can sweep that up pretty easily, I would say. If you want something done right. Oh, hello. Attack. Wow, they're in a really weakened state, aren't they? Jesus! Well, I mean, it makes no difference, lads. Decisive victory. Low. Yeah. 
Occupy, is that the end of them? Yep, they're done. Okay. Ready. Awesome. That is excellent for us. Unbending. Always our best. No, I don't want that. Runic talismans. Hmm. I could theoretically start building those up, but I'm not going to just yet. And down here we will go with... Let's go with growth. Public order, not that great. I still don't want to spend on this though, because we'll probably be fighting Skaven rebels. Yeah, these have held up just fine without it. And Karakate Peaks' garrison you can't really judge by because it's different. Yeah, all those extra Thunderers. It's useful, but I don't feel like we really need it. We can rush back there if we find ourselves needing to, but I don't see it being a big issue down there. you to my mind. No. We'll deal with them soon enough. Karaza Karak of Confederated Jufbar, that's okay. Sooner or later you have to assume we're gonna get the Confederation with Karaza Karak, so that just means we'll get even more benefit. This is gonna be vamp corruption again, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Oh, there's Tails. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, lads. Right a primeval glory for a minor faction. Love it. Love it. Do I love it? No. No, I don't love it. Eat shit, game. Eat shit. For the wisdom of Valea. Summon me. Walls here. Where the hell does Grimgore actually have settlements now then? Because he's having his ass kicked. I'm assuming they're all over here. Where the uh, the bloody hands show up. So they got Gronty Mingle, we know that. Nothing there. Nothing here, of course. Nothing here. Is there anything else I can click on here? They don't have anything here. Hmm. Oh, they do have. No, they don't have Mount Silver Spear. Huh. Obviously, they don't have anything here. We can't really see the rest. And I don't want to spend on scouting, which is how I get caught with bloody rights of primeval glory heading in my direction. But there you go. It's fine. It's fine. Fair rights of primeval glory normally auto resolve very badly. You reflect the fate of all who tread. Nah, do we have trade with them? We do, don't we? Nah.
I just don't feel like Grimgore's got anything in this direction. But that would mean he's got like the entire sort of western seaboard. Go. Okay, so Court of Libaris are going to fight them, apparently. That's good. Still don't want to spend any money over here. I feel like this is going to be Skaven Rebels. Okay, that's fine. Let's start building this up. Get some walls there. Is he tired? The axe first for war. Um Forwards. Move. Yeah, it's very, very slight, but it does help. Actually, dealing with Court of Libaris is actually something we can hold off on. Because we can, if we're there again, do we want to hold off on them? Should we not just take them out and unify this entire eastern seaboard? I think we should, and then we'll get the Dragon Isles later. Yeah. Oh! That's why there's vampire attrition. They've still got Lamia and Libaras. So the core Libaras are actually on the brink. Huh. Okay. That's actually not bad for us. Because if they can get taken out before... It's not likely to happen, to be fair. But if they get taken out before we declare war on them, that suits us. Let's get his magic line together, his rune line, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm getting sick of differentiating between runes and magic. First we drink, then we talk. No. Our bargain will be in No. She's ceasing to like us quite so much, but that's understandable. She's got to be feeling at least a little bit vulnerable. I don't have time for words. Not a bloody chance. And they might go and get the gold. There again, um, they're probably going for Libaras or Doomglade. And I want them to do that. So I'm going to go to here. And going to ambush stats. Look at how much stuff they've got here. I mean, it skinks, don't get me wrong. But still, look at how much stuff they've got. It's ridiculous. Our money's looking good. That's because of the switch over to, um, to Gotrek, isn't it? To Gotrek and Felix. I kind of want to go over... Deathmaster Snicker's is still around, though, isn't he? And they've got seven settlements. They might hold the Dragon Isles. No, no, they can't. So have a look here. They've got one, two... They've got Fortress of Vorag. So... I mean, I could go over and get rid of Imric. Just to give myself something to do. But I feel like... Oh, we should get this area held... Which it kind of is. So, 
in that case I've not got all day. Where's the nearest tavern then? Kill. There we go, good hit. I'm gonna leave him there as a scout. We're gonna go and start fighting our way through here. Court of no, the Court of Libaris have got two settlements. They've got Misty Mountain as well. We are gonna to have to betray them. It's fine. Oh, hello. Death Gorge is with Kemri. Are they at war with Court of Libaris? The goddess no. We've got nothing with Court of Libaris now. That's why our um our rating with them, our relations are going down. We can do what the fuck we like to them. Okay, screw it. No more deals with them. Definitely no deals for them. Soz, baby, soz. XOXO, etc, etc. Get that. Okay, how's the public order looking here? Because this is the tough spot. Minus one. That's not bad. And you know what? Let's just go like that and we can stop worrying about it. Good, good. The runes are strong. <coughs> we always need that growth. If you want something done right. Close victory, my ass. Decisive victory, but low. Eh, I don't trust it. I like I say he could get he's not gonna get killed, but he could get badly hurt. Shall I gamble it? I'm gonna gamble it. So it was fine. Good. It can backfire on you really hard, but that was okay. Uh, I'm just going to occupy it. Because we want to stick walls up here as well. Just to soak up those rebellions. That's good. Please just attack Karagorod, please, so I can auto-resolve this and get rid of you pricks. Same goes for you. Just attack us. Just attack us. You got nothing. Uh, we're going to have a rebellion there and there. Our public order situation is okay. That's in two turns that rebellion is going to take place. So I'm going to wait for that to come. Take that out. They've taken Balea's Sorrow. That's good. <laughs> Follow Dawi. It is an honor. Okay, good terms with them now. Really good terms with them, excellent. Agreed. Nice. Ruler's prejudice against Ironbrow's expedition. Well, I say... Is there anything more sad than intermediate warfare? Whatever. Do you not know? Get that. And the growth. So Teotica haven't been wiped out because they've got an army somewhere. Cursed Jungle. Okay, the public order has gone down a bit there. I don't want to start building up Cursed Jungle yet. I'd like to get it up to tier 2 and then put a public order building there and then I won't have to worry about this at all. But still. Can't build any of these yet. We've got this. We're just missing the puzzle box. And that's a good one as well. Always 
is our best. Oh no, as mounts go, that doesn't look especially good. Whatever. Uh, get a Rune of Wrath and Ruin for there. Let's see what the Lizard Boys do. They took the Golden Tower straight away. That's fine. We can go and get that. We'll also resolve this. Free money. Pyrrhic victory? Really? With this? Because they've got cavalry. But then if you're fighting undead, they get wiped. So, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's because of the cavalry, that's why. Go for that. Really hoping they don't come this way. I'd like them to try and take Teotica back. Stumble into our ambush. It's the right of primeval glory, but they do tend to be shit in auto-resolve. And our quarrelers are very strong. Get him to there, we'll get rid of that rebellion. Okay. Yeah, we're all right. <sighs> okay. I'm assuming these are minor Skaven factions there. Do you know what? Come on down here and tell me what the hell's going on. Grimgore's down to four. Okay, Karaza Karaka going after him. That's good. They're going to finish him off for us. The sooner I can get a confederation with them, the better, because that's going to give us a lot of our, um, our legendary items. All the stuff that we've been looking for. That we can't forge yet, which is annoying. But there you go. Yeah, I don't really need to focus too much on public order in these areas. Because we can just... Because I've put the garrisons together... Together, bloody hell. Speaking like a chav there. Um, it means that I can just auto-resolve these fights. Especially now that they've made it vampire rebels that we're fighting. We'll get that in case we fight any more green skins, which we probably won't, to be honest. Not for a while, anyway. Yeah, Skullcrag, but... It's actually Court of Libaras we're going for next, and then the Vampires. Court of Libaras has declared war on Teotica. Like, that makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. Silverhost are doing their thing. They're not really a threat to us, though. Yeah, decisive victory, see? They auto resolve They look impressive, but they auto resolve like shit. Teotica gone. As much as I love money, we need a public order building more. And it's tier two that you have to have it. That's a shame getting rid of a tier 2 money building, but I do want that public order. And now I'll start building this up so I can put a public order building at the Cursed Jungle. I can beat them and just get rid of them. That'll probably be an auto-resolve as well. Our 
Sergeant! Keep me busy! I intend to, Gotrek. I intend to. Ooh. Clan Vulcan, there we go. That's down to public order minus one. Probably green skin rebels. Ah. And I could recruit a general there. And this is available again now. Don't want to spend that much on public order. We're going to have a rebellion here at Crookback. Skaven rebels. We will beat those with the garrison, I reckon. Go for public order. Don't want to spend on that. Start getting the walls up here. We are at war with the Silver Host. We've been kind of fortunate that they haven't attacked us yet because they've been distracted with Court of Libaris. We need to get up. And in fact, I feel like we can ignore Court of Libaris for now. We do want to get rid of those beastmen, though, because they could become a pain in the ass if we let them. Clan Vulcan will be who's holding Karak Asgal and all of these places here. So I'm going to set us up to go through and get that. Rather than worrying about Spike Peak straight away. Like whatever tries to take Karak Asgal. With five units of Thunderers. Two units of Quarrelers with great weapons. Two units of Quarrelers and one unit of Grudge Throwers. I fancy our chances. Plus all those long beards. You know, we're okay. We can hold that. You reflect the fate of all who tread. No. Oh. Did I just see the Silver Host going for Teotica? No. It's someone else. Maybe Vampire Rebels or something like that. Shit, they're going for here. Okay, I knew as soon as I started to put real money in, they'd fucking go for it. Yeah, we're not going to be able to beat that with a basic garrison. Let's save the money. Rebellion is imminent in the Wolflands. That's fine. This is a shame, but is what it is. We just got to take it. They're going to they're going to take that settlement from us. We're just going to have to deal with it. But what this means is we got to deal with the vampires first. The rest is 100% not a priority. Few turns for Black Crag yet. Karak 8 peaks. It's okay. See, that, <laughs> that army is not nice. That army is not nice to deal with at all. The lack of the grudge throwers in here is so friggin' annoying. It says you should have grudge throwers. Instead, you've got miners. Wonderful. That is not a good swap. Yeah, we're going to have a rebellion there. We're just going to have to deal with that. Let's say Skaven rebels, they're probably going to be trash. Granite Massive, it's been nice knowing you. Shame about all that growth we've wasted in there, but there you go. Oh. Uh, let's start building up Lost Plateau. Yeah, I'm going to ignore Court of Libaris for now. Golden Order, okay. Yeah, 
knew it was going to happen, couldn't do anything about it. It's not even worth trying to hurt something with the Quarrelers. They raised it. God, I hate that the AI is so quick to raise things rather than taking them. Especially now. They need to patch that because growth has become such a pain in the balls. Take the money. Like, growth being such a pain in the balls means that it's especially irritating that the AI defaults every damn time to raising settlements. This army is going to head up, deal with them, then we're going through Marak, we're going through Lamia. No more vampires in this area, thank you very much. This... this is impudence. We beat that with this garrison. We would. Okay. On the move. I'm going for Karak Asgal there. Minus one, minus three. We're going to have a rebellion at Black Crag. Oh well. And like I said, Skaven Rebels. It's fine. We are whipping through the turns here, aren't we? Golden Tower. Do we want to spend anything on that? Not especially. No. Not at this moment. We'll put a public order building here when we get the chance. Oh, we need to check and see how Grimgore's getting on because I feel like Karazakarak have gone full on jihad against them. Absolutely. She wants money for it as well. Are you kidding? What exactly do you offer me? Crookback Mountain. Okay, Grimgore's over there. What a prick. Where's his... He must have one settlement in the Wolflands or somewhere like that. Or up in that channel that they've just added in. Yeah, whatever. I wonder... Yeah, it's coming from... So he's taken Mount Silverspear back. He's got Dead Rock Gap. We can see up here now. Okay, so he doesn't have the Silver Pinnacle or Desolation of Drakenmoor. But he does have Dead Rock Gap. He does have Mount Silverspear. He's down to five settlements. And you know what? I was angling to get Karakasgal, but I don't need the distraction right now. We're going to bounce to here. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to get Grimgore out of this eastern region because he's getting on my nerves now. It's time for him to say bye-bye. We're going to have the Rebellion at Black Crag. We'll see what that's like. Chaos Rebels, maybe? Seems unlikely. Skaven seems more likely there, or Greenskin. Good public order there. Good public order there. Excellent. They've settled Granite Massive. Okay. What? March. Get to there. Definitely public order building there. Just get this place under control. This one's the less important one. We'll defend that as we need to. Rune Lord of Charge bonus is worthless here. Speed. And getting him extra speed wouldn't be terrible, but nah. Just to enable him to go forward a little bit more. Oh, like but nah, more. shit happens. She's taken Maharak back. Oh, now you take it back. Now you take it back, Kalida. That's how it works, is it? Now you bother it's to take it back. Furnace. Useless. Waited until my settlement had been trashed first. No wonder Neferata doesn't get along with her. You seek the favor of Iron Peak. I... No. What brings you to the old... Hell no. And I'll walk on your land anytime I like, love, because I am going to declare war on you once I'm done with these vampires.
Knights of Kalidor have been destroyed. Now, here's the thing. I can't... I could probably auto-resolve this, right? Let's have a look. Pyrrhic victory. Really? I mean, I know there's rat ogres in there, and we could fight that manually. Um, but I want them to keep Grimgore away from there while I'm coming back. And it is Greenskin Rebels here, okay. Godric, Out of my way. We'll go through, get them. Vampire Rebels here, that's fine, that's an auto-resolve. Oh, she's going to go for granite. Massive, isn't she? Uh, it's fine. These armies are shite. We will trash them if we have to fight them. Hopefully what will happen is the vampires will wreck her army and then I can go in and trash them. And then I will bounce over her, get Lamia, and then we'll come back and we'll take out Kalida. See, this is what's affecting our public order, is these bastard beastmen. It's fine. We'll get them at some point. Mm. Let's go for the... growth, because the public order thing is not a problem. At this stage, it's actually worth going for the gold mine there because we do have the money to spend on it. Yeah, Dragonhorn Mines he's got. Deathmaster Snicker just moving through our territory. Okay. And here comes Grimgor at Black Iron Mine. Okay. That's actually fought. He sacked it. What a penis. What an absolute penis. Okay, fine. Whatever. But that stopped him from going for Crookback Mountain. I'd rather he goes for somewhere like Black Iron Mine. Go to there. We'll get them. Grimgore somewhere around here in Forced March. He might try... Yeah, he might try and get past them. He might not be able to just because of the map. Hmm. Lamia is under attack. That is good for me. Yeah, try your luck, vampy boys. Yeah, I want her to take Lamia, actually. Because that just becomes a one enemy job. It's just been a bit of an awkward sort of shit show with me having to bounce back and forth against these guys. But this is okay. I don't want to put anything into Mount Arachnos just yet. We got the extra growth. Income from toolmakers. The Empower the Guilds one gives you plus 15% growth. No, we've got a lot of gold mines. Go for that. That'll give us plenty of money. Don't want to put anything into the Golden Tower yet, because they might attack at any moment. The more money you put in, the more likely they are to attack you. Right, this seems a good point to stop, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I'll be back in another edition very, very, very soon, continuing this campaign. Hope you're enjoying this one. Let me just have a quick look and see if we can get a confederation with Krazakarak. Bat chance. Let's see if we offered them everything we have. Quickly. And see if they're in any way amenable to it. No, of course not. They're strength rank 2, we're 17. Whatever. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like it, like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. See you in the next one, guys, and have a good one.